How can you recognize these elements by selenium? How will you identify these elements? How selenium will recognize these elements? So selenium will recognize these elements by locators concept. Locators means they'll selenium locate the element in the web page using a locators mechanism. Locators are used to locate the web element in the web page by selenium. Selenium has its own uh, locators. So what are the selenium locators? So we have, so there are different uh, locators. Let me list out all of them. I'm giving directly web driver locators. We don't want any other uh, type. So web driver format only we'll write, okay? Uh, no need of any other thing. So, Okay. Web driver locators. So what are the web driver locators? ID. Name. Class name. Tag name. ASS selector. Link test. Okay, we'll write that. Uh, okay, we'll write always link text. Partial link test. Partial link, link test. Text. Tag name. Tag name. And X path. X path. So these are the locators in selenium to recognize your web page elements how can you recognize your web page elements using any one of them how can you recognize your web page elements using locators using locators locators using any one of the locators tell me web page elements the answer is you have to give using web driver locators. So next question immediately, what are the locators? So the locators in Selenium are ID, name, class name, CSS selector, link text, partial link text, tag name, export. These are the locators in Selenium. You can use any one of them to identify your web page element. Not necessary all. Any one you can use. The first preference you give always for ID. If ID is there, you no need to go for other. If ID is not there, then go for name. If name is not there, then go for class. So even though you have, but uh, so there is a, some conflict, you can go for XPath or CSS selector. So CSS selector and XPath are very efficient locators, but mm -hmm. CSS is the top one. So very quickly identifies your web element. One is by ID, another one is by CSS selector. You can identify efficiently your element. And if you, there is a link, you can just mention the link name by using link text. There is a link, but very big link name is there. I don't want to use that link name, bigger one. I want to shortcut that. One word I want to use, one substring I want to use. Then you have option partial link text. You can specify partial value. Or you want to mention, identify with the tag name. So this is a very useful. A collection of elements you want to fetch. This is a very, very useful. For example, you want to fetch a group of links then you can use a tag name or you want to fetch uh, uh, all the drop down options you have to use a tag name the common tag is option tag so like that you can fetch a collection of elements with this tag name so collections come 
comes into picture again with you know while using this tag name even with xpath also or with the css selector you have to construct them to get a single element or to get a group of elements so that identification we'll see one by one how to identify an element with id so let's go and see this so i'll go here and uh, i will just so i want to identify first name so right click inspect you can see there is a you no know, highlights in blue color right this one uh, is there any id you have id here can you see here id attribute id attribute is the locator in selenium but in the html this is an attribute id is an attribute here name also see name is an attribute but in the selenium it's a locator class is an attribute in html but class name is the locator name in selenium so i i want to identify these elements how can you identify so so there is a one tool i want to introduce to you so easily you can recognize uh, you can just click on you know you can paste this value and then you can uh, so spy click on that uh, it will spy if it is correctly given the value so this id value if you give properly and that selenium will recognize so there is a one tool let's uh, quickly install on the chrome browser that is open your google.com everybody can start immediately no need to you know do later so catalan recorder so catalan recorder is an extension for chrome and firefox i edge also so catalan recorder is another tool and which is used for automation also same as selenium so why you cannot use selenium id why you are going for this this is a much user friendly than selenium id so that's why i'm going but let's see this click on this catalan recorder selenium test generator click on this so i i have already added to my chrome browser you just you will get here option add to chrome option click on add to chrome then it will show here this is the one see the same uh, logo right the same logo you can find out here on the because i i know in the extensions i pin it you pin it automatically it will show here okay so then open the catalan recorder I'll open it, my Catalan recorder. So this is my Catalan recorder. So you can move here and there. Okay. So no issues. So once you install, pin it, and it will show here. And uh, you can create a new uh, test suit. If you want to create a new test suit, you can click on this. And see again in the yesterday in Selenium, we have seen right command, target, value. This is the table format same table format here also you have so let's create a new suit i want to create a new suit uh, object identification april 4th 2024 Okay, so this is the one, you got it. So in the suit below, I have created a test and I got a empty, right? Now I can practice here. So click on a row, one row you can add. So what you can do in the target, you just add ID equal to ID value. In the target, what you need to do? You just type here, ID equal to ID value. ID value, you copy from here. So which element we are identifying? We are identifying first name edit box. So it should identify that element only. So id equal to id value. So these all formulas are here. You can see. 
So web driver locators are this format. And uh, this is the one. And uh, you can see ID equal to ID value if you want to write in the Catalan record. Catalan record say ID, ID value. Same formula, right? And web driver format, I'll show you. Web driver format also I'll show you. Now just open this, move it, and click on this touch icon. After writing ID equal to ID value, just click on Finder. See, it is highlighting. Is it highlighting or no? Yellow color. Are you able to see? Yeah, Ramesh, but no, not color, but we can see that Finder. Not Finder. Color that the first name is highlighting in the page, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Got it, got it. Oh, okay, we are finding uh, uh, that uh, element with the help of ID. Element with ID. Okay. You are finding the first name element with ID. Okay. So next, okay, how to identify with the name? So you have a name also right here. Copy this value. Same, again, open a Catalan recorder name equal to name well then click on find see again same element because this property also belongs to same element that's why otherwise i'll take some other drop down okay let me take a drop down see select aria label month name i have a name or i have id so already name is done id i will use a name copy this Add new row, name equal to this one. See now. See, it is highlighting a birthday, right? Month. So that is the how you can. Let me show you a class also. So, one class I'll show you with class also. Here we have a class, but class value is a very big one. Let me take some other element, anything which has a class proper. But this is also not proper. Uh, do we have anything a proper value? A class? Class is this one. Yeah, let me use this. So I'm identifying a female radio button. Okay. So you have to write a class equal to the class value. See, exactly that radio button is identified. Sir, what about, sir, if there is a duplicates? Let's see what is this class. This is also same, right? See, here and here are same. That time, you are, so these, these are not going to help you. You have ID. See, ID is a Uniqlo. Always ID is going to be Uniqlo. That's why you are to give first preference for ID. Okay, so I just want to show class, I have taken that. But if duplicates are there, you should not use duplicate one. Make sure you have a even name also same. But the value is different, but value is not in the locator list. Locator list, you have only ID, name, class only. There is no type in the locator list. There is no value in the locator list. Whatever in the locator list, those things only you have to use. Not other thing, other attributes. So you have ID, you can use ID. So now, okay, ID is there, but how can you write in Selenium web driver? Okay, sir, you have shown here ID equal to ID value, fine. But is this the same you will write in the Selenium web driver? No. Selenium web driver, you will write in this format. So there is an interface, right? Interface is web driver first line you will write this web driver driver equal to new which browser you want to run that browser class you will create object chrome driver is the class so i will create object for that class now driver is my object reference for this is the object that object reference is a driver so now to identify that element so you have to write web element so the element name what element for example uh, first name right i will write first name 
edit box. See, I have written the name of the element, then type of the element. Mandatory. First, you have to write the name of the element, then type of the element. Equal to, then driver. Driver is the object reference dot. You are finding that element. That's why there is a method in Selenium. Find element. Find element. Oh. Find element as a method. Is it's a method? You say non-static method. That's why object oh. reference dot find element by oh. ID. ID and you oh. view the ID. So ID value, whatever the ID value you so you are giving here for this uh, name. So give that ID. So this is how you will write in Selenium web driver. That's it. You identified. You are not doing action. I am just showing here now how to identify the elements in Selenium. Forget about the actions. Actions I will tell you later. So this is how you will write the code in Selenium web driver. Why you have written sir, this web element? This method is a return type method. Again, return type concept if you know in Selenium. Again, I'm repeating that data type. Let me write all the concepts again, Java concepts. Data type, so variable name equal to object okay. reference dot return type Method name. Oh. Non-static method. Mm -hmm. This is the concept I already given in Java in methods topic. See that that formula I am reusing in multiple places. Not in one place. Java also we used. In Selenium you will use in all the places. Every Time find element will return a web element only, web element type only. The type, return type of this method is web element. Okay. Now, second one name by name, by name locator. So, how to write? I'm, I'm showing again. So, web element. So, maybe I'll take a different element. You, you choose what element you want. Okay. I'll take a day drop down, okay? Day drop down. See, name. So this is the name, birthday, day. So I'm copying the name attribute value. So uh, my element name is day drop. Day drop. I don't need to have a shortcut, my element name, day drop down. This is just for my understanding purpose. Day drop down equal to driver day. dot find element oh. so find element as a parameterized method so by, you have to give by, by name, 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 name of value. value so this is the how you are going to identify the element next by class name locator how to write in selenium web driver again similar same code only change is a locator. Locator. Locator is? By locator. Yeah. By yes. locator is a class. So I'll take one more element. Let me take another element, which has a class. Maybe I'll take this. Female radio button. So class, I'll take this one. Female radio button. I'll say female radio button. See, name first. Then type radio button. So you can shortcut, but make sure you understand what is this element. That's enough. We don't want other than that. See, this is how you can recognize your web elements. Okay, so three locators are done. Any doubts on this? We will write the code like this only in Selenium web driver. Any questions here? 
before going for the next uh, link text by link text so by link text let me take a link so already uh, this is the link right so my link name i can get from closed a tag and open a tag in between copy this so i can write here click on add uh, new row so you can write here link equal to link name so click on this see this one can we try link text i am not sure this is going to support or not in the catalan it is not recognizing how do you know sir it is not recognizing can you see here element is not found because in selenium uh, web driver you, it is a link text but in the catalan recorder and selenium id it's a link only still link only okay but in web driver you have to write like this so Uh, what is that already? Have an account. Link. See, I'm writing already have account link. And at the end, you should mention clearly the type mandatory, the type you should know. What are the different type of elements mandate? See, I'm everywhere I'm writing. Edit box, drop down, radio button, link. First name of the element, then type of the element. This is the naming conventions you must follow. Mandatory these naming conventions. It's like standards which will be understandable for standards. everyone. Yeah, easily you can understand. <laughs> what is the element type and what is the element name which element you are referring that's a name will refer right and type what is the type so that's why and i hear the locator by dot link text and you give the link name is uh, already have an account see you have to give if you take a link text you have to give complete link name Okay, but if you take a partial link text, okay, if, if you take a partial link text, you don't need to give this, you can give a partial, partial link text. Partial link text, that's the beauty of, that means contains, if this, so this text, this link substring contains, so this element you can identify partial link text. Either, please understand what is the difference between link text and partial link text. Both will be used for recognizing the link only, not for normal text, not for paragraphs, not for header text, not for labels. So this link text and partial link text, when you can use, if it is a link hyperlink only, link. hyperlink only. Please be careful here. But then what is the difference? Link text and partial. Link text means exactly how to give. You are not allowed to omit any word or letter or space or anything exactly how to give that link name but in the partial link text you have a provision to skip whatever the word you want you take it in the entire see i in the so in this entire big word right but i took only account i can even remove question mark also that's the advantage with partial link text so any doubts on this five locators that we have discussed till now? If you're okay, I'll move on to the CSS selector. Are we good? 
everyone okay see i have very very clear like you want to see i am writing here so formula i have written then the value i replaced okay so everything very clearly given so you see even with the diagrams also how to recognize them also i am given here and the web driver code also I have given so this all you know so very nicely we prepared this documentation so i'll put this link also in our uh, youtube channel you can refer and you can go and refer that so till class and link text we have seen now we are going to refer by css next locator is by css shall we start are any doubts good anish okay so still if you want you can just practice few more okay let me show you one more say i'll show you all of them you have id name even class also you have here right class also you have but uh, let me show you one more we have a class proper see placeholder here placeholder search news see inside the box you have right that's the placeholder attribute placeholder is used to put this here see here you have a this this star chicken right this star chicken there is a class i'll show you that class only to recognize the star chicken this should recognize this star chicken can you see my cursor right you can see my cursor right everyone yeah Ramesh. so now let me write class class equal to class value but it is recognizing uh, it's not highlighting here so you can see here element is found in top frame but you can do some action click action or something it will click but let's see this one will recognize or not uh, there is id right go to the next row id equal to Oh, somehow it, this is not taking. Uh, then we will, let's go here. We can see here. Yeah, here you have. So class is there. There is no class here. So I am just looking for the class where you can have. See type, name, value, title. Class is here. Yeah, we got class. Finally, so you can write uh, yeah. So class equal to no spaces. Okay, even space also it will consider as a no. Uh, so white space. So you should not use spaces. See, it is highlighting, right? Sign in is highlighting. Are you observing? Blinking. Yeah, Ramesh. Yeah. So that's the, the for example, you want to identify this icon. See, EM. So ID is there, class is there. So I'll take ID. Let's take ID. So like this, you can identify your elements and write as the web driver. That's the exercise for you. So web driver uh, format also you need to write it. Take any website and identify that elements, all the type of elements I want, okay? All type of elements I want. See that? It's uh, identifying, see? I, I can also, anything you can identify like this. Okay, so let's go now CSS. CSS means cascade style sheets. So this is the one of the, fastest locator in all the locators. ID is the fastest, then CSS also equally faster uh, with the ID. So your elements will be quickly recognized by CSS and ID. They will ask an interview question also. What are the quickest locators in Selenium? So what is the answer you have to give? ID and CSS. And uh, 
next question immediately they will ask okay in css and xpath which is the quickest locator so what is the answer css css only why css why not xpath once you get some idea on the xpath then i'll tell you i'll give the difference okay but as of now let's move on now okay css locator you can use a different attributes so if you are using id what is the css format so this is the one css equal to tag name hash id value even you don't need to write a tag name also directly you can write hash id value then it will recognize automatically but generally format you can use tag name hash id value so let me show you this so we have id right this is the id so i can write directly see uh, in the catalan recorder you just put so let's go to the next row css equal to hash this one click on see that or i can write a tag name what is the tag name em right em is the tag name for this so em is the tag name even you can write em also em so that is also correct both are both are going to work so this is the one but how to write in selenium web driver by css id so so what is this i icon so driver dot find element by dot css selector in the selenium web driver this is a css selector hash the id value what is the id value just copy i icon that's id value id attribute value so this is the one see so css selector hash id value clear now second one uh, second formula so all you can follow these formulas very clearly i have given you can just follow next by class attribute if there is a class how can you write in css format so css equal to tag name dot class value or you can write a, just a dot class value also if you don't want to write a tag name but if you write a tag name it will give you much much clarity so you will get a better you know clarity on that that's why uh, we can write a tag name also tag name dot class value so let me show you here we have a class right if you have a class for this uh, password edit box uh, type id name there is no class so let me take here uh, for this element or uh, this attribute so i'll take for this see that how can i write it sign in button i am identifying so how am i writing let's see that css equal to what is the formula follow the formula tag name tag name is input dot class value <laughs> see that it is recognizing so that is how and how to write in selenium web driver by css class so you can write here sign in button css selector input dot class name the class value what is the class value this one so this is the how you can wherever class comes if you are writing in css format this is the formula tag name dot class value if it is id tag name hash id value 
you have for id class but what about other attributes there is a formula for that also so we have a, another formula where you can use okay one more point uh, i missed in the class uh, for example if your class has a uh, bigger uh, value and that value has a spaces between the words will it recognize it won't recognize it won't recognize then how can you identify that you can go so, with id so let's go and see how we can do that maybe so i'm not sure maybe has uh, spaces class has a spaces yeah you have a spaces here you can see this this class has a spaces so if you write but not sure it is uh, highlighting or not sometimes this uh, few elements won't highlight see css equal to tag name is input tag dot class value you can clear this bottom one uh, all the log is there this log you can clear by clicking on this clear logs so that you can see easily see element not found so element is not found why so the there is a space let me show you that what is that let me show you where is the space i'll paste it here so that you will you'll get a better quality you no know, visibility here where is the space can you tell me is this is the class value where is the spaces after tb that one? after tb tb and ui in between there is a space that spaces are there this formula doesn't work out this formula doesn't work out tag name dot class value then what to do wherever spaces are there that you remove the space and put a dot again okay you put a dot again now remove here put a dot there then this will work see that go and paste it now now see that is it highlighting oh, sorry this is the one right yeah highlighting right can you yes. see now yes sir ramesh yes. others that's the yes the class name how you can do and write in the so with this search edit box search edit box so write this uh, css selector Okay. So this uh, till now I'll stop here because uh, we have only one minute. Uh, till now you take any website. I want one edit box, one radio button, one check box, one drop down, one link. All the elements you take and identify with all these formulas. So what are all we covered? We covered ID. So we covered uh, name. We covered uh, class name, we covered link text, partial link text, CSS by ID, CSS class. CSS, we have uh, two types, right, in the class. One is, if it is a one word, you don't need to put a dot in, there is no spaces. If there are spaces in your uh, value,